Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Get Wrecked. It is the morning of day four. I've got a few skill points to spend here this morning before we get started. Three of them. Let's just go ahead and unlock the bicycle. I might skip that though and go right for the mini bike. Let's go agility and parkour level one. We definitely want to pump this up so we can jump higher and fall from a higher distance without spraining or breaking our leg eventually. That'd be a good one to max out. Let me grab a little bit of iron. You don't get much from these piles. 15 pieces per pile. Better than nothing. I did spot an iron node around here somewhere. I just forget where that is. I'll keep an eye out for it. This morning, we are going to raid this rundown POI over here. See what's up with this place. And uh, just continue to uh, do some looting. Um... Not going to go to the trader, even though I have a bunch of stuff to sell until we get a vehicle, because the trader's pretty far away. We can certainly get a mini bike crafted this evening, if we can find uh, a wrench. I, I did put a point into Miner 69er, uh, as you guys probably remember, so we can craft a hammer. But I did not put a point into salvage operations. I'm hoping we can just find a wrench today. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Laid him out real quick. He must have been fighting a zombie or something. He had, like, no hit points. Now well, we got our meat for the day. What's up, Kenny? You want this meat? Well, you can't have it. What else do we need? We need mechanical parts also. So we could take apart some cars and get them that way. We could take apart shopping carts or those black leather chairs that I usually scrap for the leather. We take them apart with the wrench and we get a mechanical part or two from those. Let me kill Mo in this stripper. Because uh, if they get wind of us, then they'll come over and they'll want to fight, and I'm trying not to get overrun here. Couple more eggs, that's good. I figure if we get the high ground right here, we'll probably be better off. Get a better view of what's going on. Oh, didn't see it there, Rice Krispies. Your charcoal ass just blends in with the floor of the wasteland. Here comes a crawler. Well, slowly but surely. Oh, shit. We got a cop. Back up. Yep. I don't think he's part of this POI. He's just wandering in from the street. That's going to be the hardest part about this POI. It's all open and exposed. Being uh, in the wasteland, just outside of a city, there's going to be fucking zombies everywhere. Just continuously trying to kill us. Maybe I can get this cop to blow up. Take out a couple of our charcoal buddies. Well, yep, he's not going to go yet. Still not mad. Come on. That should do it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Fucking bird. Now well, we're off to a good start, huh? Haven't looted one thing yet. At least we got the meat from that wolf. That could have ended poorly. Could have died right then and there. So, I guess we should just count our blessings, right? Oh, there's level 16. We could use that skill point to unlock the mini bike if we can get a workbench crafted today. Now, the bird. Let's keep in mind we could get a horde tonight. And if we do. Then we'll just set something up real quick across the street at the barn or next door at the Clown College. Got him. Didn't kill him, though. Better back up. There's a landmine right over there. Maybe I can get one of these fuckers to step on it. Let's get out of here. Someone's going to step on that thing. There we go. 
dead. This one up here. It's waking up. Got a crawler. Dead. I feel like we've killed quite a lot of zombies for day four. And we're getting double XP. So, if we do get a horde tonight, even though it's only day four, it could be equivalent to like a day seven horde. So, we gotta be careful. That's some first aid. Take the first aid kit for sure. Take that. That's some money. Take that. And that. And that. And that. And let's see if there's something hiding in the corner here. Oh shit. I should have I shouldn't have scrapped my stone axe because I don't have an axe now. I might have to make another one until we find or craft an iron axe. There's a wolf. It's fighting a zombie. Come on. Oh, there's a locked chest behind there. I'm just gonna mark it on the map real quick. Because I don't have any lock picks on me. I don't mind beating into it, but not right now, when there's a wolf and probably a whole shit ton of zombies still in this place. Here's a chair. Take this apart. Here we go. Two mechanical parts right there. Mm, one of them is feral. Let's see if we can get up here. Son of a bitch. That's why we need parkour to at least level three. Oh, he's not feral. All right. It looked like he was running. I guess not. There we go. Come on. There we go. Your turn, big boy. Oh, shit. He is feral. I saw the glowing eyes. Where is he? There he is. The businessman. That's the feral one. Fuck. You. All right, he's dead. Oh, give me a break with this bullshit. These zombies are just coming in off the street. That's going to be a major problem with this POI. Just all the zombies off the street because everything's fucking wide open. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. We should just run. There we go. All right. We're safe for the moment. Oh, there's a cop now puking at us. There's nowhere to go, really. Uh, shit. Not good. I'll take that. Might as well take what I can, right? Some lead. All that stuff. Another bottle of acid. That's really good. We needed that for a second wheel. Now I really think we have everything we need to craft. Well, the bicycle. For the mini bike, we need uh, an engine. Still, so um, definitely want to take some cars apart today. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get ourselves a mini bike by the end of the day. If we live that long. Holy shit. I'm gonna use that first aid kit we picked up. Here we go. It's just too many of them. Can't get anything done. No, oh, we gotta move. This is not good. Dang it. Fucking. Alright. See ya. Man. This POI is... Pain in the ass. I, it, it's because, it's, like I said, everything's open. If we were inside and I was able to close doors and, like, not attract a bunch of other zombies, be alright. We got fucking feral Kenny over here. Get out of here, Kenny. For fuck's sake. Alright. He's dead. Getting into the city here. What is this place? So many interesting POIs. But, problem is, are we gonna live long enough to explore them all? That's the question. Come on, holy shit. This is ridiculous. Everyone's feral, it's day four. Calm the fuck down. Oh boy. Um. What if we get up here? Oh, there's a loot bag. You gonna try and get up here? For real? Get out of here. You hear the shotgun? I put a silencer on it. I didn't know you could put a silencer on a double-barreled shotgun. 
It doesn't have any visual, like you can't see it, but you can hear that it's silenced. Strange. Oh, are they in there? I don't know. Maybe we could bust. Oh, we can. We don't have an axe. Maybe I can pull up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Mm, this one's feral. I love that the feral charcoal zombies are, are actually on fire. I like that. That's a good little detail right there. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Die, you jumping piece of shit. Come on. There's another one, too, I think. Yep. Come on. That one's dead. And we are just about out of ammo. I got two rounds left. Oh, dude, what the fuck? I just want to, If I can get to a spot where they can't get to me, like maybe up these stairs... Holy shit! Where did, where did Thick come from? Was he up here already? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Get out of my way! This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Oh! Fuck! One hit point left! Alright. See ya! Gotta go! Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking run. Did, did I not bring bandages with me? I got fuck. Holy shit! Alright. I'm going home. Fuck this. Almost 3,000 hours I got into this game, and I still can't remember to bring bandages with me. What an idiot. Well, that did not work out at all. I mean, we did get some loot. We got that bottle of acid, which is very important for crafting a vehicle. And some other knickknacks and bullshit. We got meat from that wolf. That was good. But damn, was that rough. All right, take two. Let's try this again. I'm not going back to that fucking psychopathic POI. We're going to go to a POI with doors and walls like this one up here. This one looks interesting. And then maybe, maybe we'll cross the street and try to revisit the rundown POI. But for now, this place, it looks safer. But, of course, looks can be deceiving. Let's start in the back here with these little apartments or whatever they are. Take that cloth. Oh, here we go. Nice full car. Let's take this thing apart. Better kill that zombie first. Nice. One shot with the stun baton. Gotta love that. Glass jar and some glue. Let's take care of Mo. And oh, this is the grain POI. That was uh that was Doris POI. And the Neebs uh Darkness Falls playthrough. He he built a base there. That's the no pain grain <laughs> base. It did well. I think all the guys survived that night. But you know what that POI is great for? Cement. It's fucking full of that shit, so... Gotta remember that it's right here. Well, no engine or battery, but good amount of mechanical parts, so I'll take it. There's another car over there, but... Let's... Let's get to looting. It's damn near 11 o'clock. We... I feel like... I feel like we haven't looted anything. We... We got some loot from the rundown... POI, but... Uh, I'm... I'm looking for more ammo. The good thing is... We are building up quite the inventory uh, for the trader, so once we do make our way over there, we'll have a good amount of coin to purchase stuff. All these doors are locked. How about this door? Unlocked. All right, we'll start here. Here we go. Oh, we were sneaky enough. Just couldn't get the kill. There we go. I guess these are little apartments. Yeah, suck on that, Mo. I love talking shit to them after they're already dead. Because then, you know, they can't do anything about it. Paper. Empty can. Well, let's take some brass here. Take it where you can get it. That's like, oh my god, I heard the dumbest... Marketing is just getting dumber and dumber. Fucking ego. 
Their new slogan is get your wins in when you can, when you Lego with Ego. What does that even fucking mean? It doesn't mean anything. And you're, what are you telling me? Eating a frozen waffle is getting a win in? I don't know. Last time I checked, eating anything fucking frozen is not a win. You know, maybe if it was like a nice fucking made from scratch fluffy waffle with butter and syrup and breakfast sausage, that's a win. Frozen waffle, not a win. It's like these corporate dickheads think they can just say anything to us and we're just completely brain dead. We're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a win in by buying the frozen waffles, which, which are basically cardboard. If that was Ego's slogan, if it was Ego, it's basically cardboard, then I would fucking buy Ego, because I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, it is. Good for them, for telling the truth. Empty can, oh, another level. Couple of skill points to spend now. Oh, that was fun, though. Who else should I shit on? Give me a brand. Name a brand down in the comments, maybe I'll shit on them in the next episode. I'm looking for a reverse sponsorship, that's what it is. I'm looking for a company to pay me to not talk about them. Damn, Big Mama. Did you even hit the door? Or did you just lean up against it? Got a few more buildings on this side, then we'll go into the main building. Got a zombie approaching. All right, lots of zombies here, but a manageable amount, and they're not all feral. And we're not getting just bombarded by zombies from the outside either, so it's not too bad. Some wood. Some wood and steel. And a piece of paper. All right, let's check the other two buildings. Door's locked. Man, I need to... I need to make an axe. We might as well make a stone axe real quick. Because this door's probably locked too. It is? Alright. Uh, I need plant fiber. I think I'll craft a fire axe tonight. But for now, I need two stone and two plant fiber. Here we go. Oh shit! Uh, shotgun! Yes! Alright, good old double tap. There's some charred meat. We'll go ahead and eat that now, because I did pick up a bottle of water also. So we can go ahead and eat that meat, drink the water. We'll be looking good. Oh, there's a battery. Now we just need an engine for the mini bike, which at this point we might as well just skip right over the bicycle. Alright, let's see what we got in the main building here. Oh, there's a cemetery back here. A zombie. Let's wake him up. Then we'll do some digging, see if there are some caskets buried here. Ah, there are buried caskets. Some cloth. We'll see how good the loot is. We'll do at least one row. And see if we come up with anything good. I can't search that one. Oh! Damn it, Skinny Pete! So fucking skinny, he doesn't make a sound when he's walking. There we go, and we got another one sleeping over there. Oh. Or not. Alright, whatever. Rotten flesh. Oh, shit. Here we go. Let's see if we can get the two-shot kill with the shotgun again. Yes. Good thing there was just one of them. Uh, let me dig up this last coffin right here, and if we don't get anything good, I'm done. Because we've done two rows of these, yeah, and it's just, this is all bullshit. I'm not digging up the last row. 
Well, I guess we got a church here. Makes sense. Church here, and then the cemetery. And then they probably just Airbnb those apartments, you know? Make a little passive income. Slow down, lady. There we go. Passive income is nice, especially when you don't have to pay taxes on it. Should start my own church. The Church of Latter-day Taints. <laughs> oh, relax, I can make fun of the Mormons. The way I see it is, if I can Google search your prophet and find his police record, then it's open season on you. That's like if I start a church and my prophet was Lucky Luciano. It's like, yeah, I know he's got a criminal background, but I'm telling you, he really did speak to God. And all God wants is 10% of all the money you make. <laughs> like God's up there with a calculator, crunching the numbers. Well, let me see here. 10% um, should be fine. Then I can let them all into heaven. Well, we got a hatch above and a door right here. That's locked. Hatch is unlocked. Some trash up here, and that looks to be about it. Let's pop this door open. All this just leads to the other side, I guess. There's Mo. See if we can take him out. Dead. Alright, let's open this door. Oop, got a zombie in there. Come on out, lady. Nice, level 4 sledge turret. Find more ammo in loot? That is exactly what I'm looking for in loot. And that sledge turret, holy shit, that's gonna help a lot. Especially if we end up getting a horde tonight, or whenever we get a horde. That is going to help. Robotics book? We can craft robotic turret shells and the dart trap schematic, that's good. We all know how well the dart traps worked in the Nightmare series. Another looter book. Find more food in loot. All right, I'll take that, and I'll take the baton parts. Usually I sell those, but since we're using batons in this series, we're certainly going to hold on to them. All right. Um, it's almost hour 18, which is the time we will find out whether or not we're getting a horde tonight. So let's go ahead and get this loot in the chest here back home. Get that put away, and by that time we should know. Whether or not we have to start preparing for a horde, or if we have some time to, um, maybe do some more looting. Well, we definitely have the mechanical parts we're gonna need. Oh, shit. Sounds like tonight's the night. Oh, yeah. Horde number one on day four. Let's grab the rest of this loot. Get it home, and then we'll head over to the barn and start getting ready. I'm just going to put in some additional support so it's harder to take the barn down, and then I'm going to put in a staircase. And I will attach the staircase to where we're standing, but we'll do it with frames that we can pull up. This way, occasionally, we could put those frames in, and it will attract the zombies to the steps, stop them from beating on the barn for a little bit, and then we can pull those frames back up when it gets crazy. And we can put some bars in the way. And maybe maybe the sledge turret to push them off of the steps. Pretty simple. Pretty basic. But I think it'll work for tonight. Let's grab some murky water real quick while we're waiting for those arrowheads to finish. There's a bear right over there. That's not good. I don't feel like, um, having a bear involved with the horde tonight. So, um, maybe we'll do the clown college instead. Save the barn for another night. Okay, not the way I was planning on using these skill points, but we got three of them. I'm gonna put a couple into archery. What the hell? Now we can make a better bow, a level three. 
since that's going to be, um, I mean, it's not going to be the main weapon. We do have quite a bit of shotgun shells, and I'm also going to make a pipe pistol so we can make use of this 9mm that we have. Oh, there's an engine and a battery. Sweet. We didn't find the wrench that we needed. We actually need a hammer, too, to make this workbench, because I'm certainly not going to use my level 3 wrench or my level 6 hammer to craft the workbench. So we'll have to craft new ones, which is going to cost forged iron. And the workbench itself costs more forged iron. I think it's like 30, 60, 85 pieces or some shit like that. 30 for the wrench, 30 for the hammer, 25 for the workbench. That's a lot. I mean, we can get some right here, actually. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to craft it tonight. So... Probably just save the skill points and we'll we'll try to we'll give it another day or two See if we can find a hammer and a wrench and if not then we'll have no choice but to craft them ourselves. All right, these stairs are the only way up to where I'm going to be. Let's put some bars at the top right here. And if or when they break through the bars, then we'll pull up these frames. But if we can keep the bars upgraded, if it gets out of hand, we can pull the frames up, you know, and we're going to use this dick puncher here. To help us out, let's build this out a little here, quickly, because the horde has started. There we go, okay. Get this thing down. Bam! And that's it. Are they coming to the stairs? They are. Alright. Let's see how it goes. Like I said, worst case scenario, they break the bars or whatever, we can just pull the, fr the, the frames up, and then... We're just going to have to shoot down on them at that point. Which is going to be a pain in the ass, but it's better than dying. And if they take down the clown college, then so be it. Oh, yeah. Shotgun and the dick puncher make a great team. I really don't want to run through all of my shotgun ammo. I mean, I will if I have to, but let's use some 9mm. Ooh, look at that reload animation. I don't even have to open the barrel. It's magic. But you know what I mean? Like, I would rather have the shotgun with me while we're out and about during the day than this fucking pipe pistol. At least we know two rounds from the shotgun will take a dog out. We did that twice today. There we go. Very nice. The dick puncher and the fact that, you know, not many of them can fit on the stairs at one time. Keeps the damage to the bars at a minimum. That's it for the pistol. No more life left in that thing. Plenty of life left in the shotgun. 42 rounds of ammo left. We're gonna be fine. Pretty big horde. I would think it would be coming to an end soon. But like I said at the beginning of the episode, if we did get a horde tonight, I said it was gonna be pretty equivalent to a day seven horde based on how many zombies we've killed and, and the fact that we're running double XP. And the bow is doing pretty good. Wasn't a bad idea putting those two points in the archery. The zombies keep coming, though. You guys know it's day four, right? 
You don't gotta be so aggressive. Beautiful. Oh, Kenny's dead. And I think she is our last one. All right. That was uh, not too bad. Thank God for this sledge turret, I'm telling you. That was a saving grace finding that thing. That worked out. The double barrel, the dick puncher, the bow did well. We are level 20. Let's take a look at this just so you guys can uh, have a reference point. Level 20, game stage 27, 253 zombie kills going into day 5. Pretty crazy. Uh, I want to take apart this workbench up here for more forged iron. And we'll grab those loot bags and then we'll get home. Pretty good. So that was day four. We got our first horde. So then uh, day five, six, seven. Technically, we could get another horde on day seven or uh, eight, nine, ten, or all the way up to day 11. We could get our next horde. So this worked well. Would it... Would this setup work again for day 7? Maybe. Would it work again for day 11? I don't know. We definitely need to find a better POI to use than this barn. Because if it did... If they did break the bars and I had to pull up those frames, I don't think it would take them very long to take down this barn. Especially a larger horde. So we need to get a stronger POI set up and ready for a horde. And we also need to continue working on the base that I want to build from scratch. I'm going to take apart this barbell set for more forged iron and then we'll get home. Alright, not a bad day. Except for the morning when I was down to one hit point and almost died. But after that, it went pretty well. And we handled the horde, so that's good. I'm going to get uh, all this loot put away. And organized, and uh, we'll pick things up here on the morning of day five. See if we can find a wrench and a hammer, get a workbench built, get a mini bike built, and then we'll really be cooking. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Get Wrecked, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.